Jesus, Lord, Father, Master, Son of God, Son of Man, Christ, Redeemer, Savior, Sufferer. Yes, Sufferer. Our finite minds forget that he suffered. He didn't just die on the cross quickly. His crucifixion was tougher than you can fathom, rougher than you can imagine. Our father's execution was an attraction for all to see. You see, it took about six hours of unbearable physical pain inflicted by cowards who thought that they would devour what they thought was just an ordinary man not knowing that this extraordinary man would actually receive power. Power to heal, set free, and deliver. He is the giver of life because he gave every inch of himself to deliver us from ourselves. His head was crowned with thorns, the flesh of the scalp torn by this man-made crown that was worn by our king. He was scorned and mocked, but this was just the key that locked the door to depression. We have to stop obsessing with what we don't have, what we can't do, and who we aren't. He suffered so that we wouldn't have to. He will never leave you nor forsake you. That's true. God knew that the enemy's ploy to come in to steal, kill, and destroy and take away our joy would have to be destroyed by sacrificing his own hands as they were pierced by man. He sacrificed his so that we could raise ours, not to be raised to the sun, moon, and the stars, but to worship him. And he was pierced in the side of his flesh for our flesh. If Christ could go back, he wouldn't do any less than undergo the distress that made a mess from Gethsemane to Calvary. Nevertheless, he would do it all over again just to raise the oppressed, the depressed, and stressed. Now that's loving kindness and faithfulness. Yes. He would receive more stripes if he could, just so that healing would overtake us as it should. He's just that good. As he endured being whipped, hit, and kicked, taking every lash for our healing, revealing his incredible love for us. And if that wasn't enough while being tied to the cross, Christ's feet were nailed for the lost to follow him. His lower limbs pierced with nails so that we wouldn't be derailed but bailed out of a life of sin. He said, take up your cross and follow him and you will win because I sacrificed every inch of myself so that you can live. <laughs>